Hello, I'm Karen Seitz, the happiness expert, and welcome to the Happy Wife School. Today, I want to talk about misandry, the fall of women. And the reason I want to talk about this is recently I came across an online influencer named Spencer Barbosa, who is only 20 years old. She has almost 2 million subscribers on YouTube, a million followers on Instagram, a huge following on TikTok. If you type in the word misogyny into the YouTube search bar, her video is the first to pop up with almost 5 million views. And it's videos like this that make me really, really sad because it's a great example of how buying into the ideology of modern day feminism continues to breed misandry, the hatred and contempt toward men. It is something that is embedded in our culture. It's become acceptable and even glorified. You can see it in movies like the Barbie movie that just came out. You can see it in television shows. You can see it in news articles and obviously influencers across social media. And I want us to know as women that there's another option and there's another perspective in 2023 in the Western world to see that we are not oppressed and held back by men and why continuing to believe that is hurting us. It's holding us back in life and it's preventing us from having healthy relationships with men. So we're going to look into the why of misandry in our culture. And I want to give you the same option that I received to see things in a different light so that you can thrive and be the best version of yourself so that you can evolve into a real woman who is happy and believes in herself and realizes that there's nothing and no one holding you back. And I want us to realize that as long as we continue to buy into modern day feminism and believe that men are our oppressor and men are our enemy, that it's impossible to have a healthy, loving marriage or relationship with a man. So first, let's take a look at this short clip from this online influencer. The purpose of showing this clip is really it's clear to me the amount of misandry and hatred that she has in talking about misogyny in our culture. I want to see if you see it too. And then that will be our jumping off point to talk about misandry, why it's so rampant and what to do about it. Okay. These are some things that are super misogynistic that you probably have never even realized before. And it needs to stop. When guys only respect women that they find attractive. The fact that being called too girly is an insult, but if a guy is too manly, it's praised. You should really smile more. The fact that I literally can't go out alone when it's nighttime. Also, I'm not hating on men or blaming men or anything. I'm literally just stating the facts and it's pathetic. Aches. It's clear to me. Is it clear to you? the hatred that she has in herself as she's talking about this. And it's not just her. Like I said, this is glorified and we see it all over this, all over the place. This is just a really good example of it. And so what I really want us to understand and why I want to talk about this, why it relates to being a happy wife is I had a dumb moment when I realized that being a feminist and buying into feminist ideology that I'm somehow unequal to to a man in 2023. And really when this became apparent to me, it was about 2015. So almost 10 years ago is this is the dumb moment I want us to have ladies. Can you recognize that if consciously or unconsciously we're breeding hatred towards men by believing that they're our oppressor and they're our enemy, doesn't it make sense if we hate men we can't have a healthy marriage with a man or a healthy relationship with a man. It's impossible. And so it was really, really important for me to have my cognitive dissonance broken to recognize there was nobody holding me back. There was no glass ceiling, that there's no patriarchy. And that as a, a white woman in, when I realized all this in 2015, and now 2023, living in America, that I can go out and be whoever I want. I can do whatever I want. And there's no one stopping me. When I had that cognitive dissonance broken, it was a profound life-changing moment for me. It opened the doorway for me to have a healthy, loving relationship with my husband. It opened the doorway for me to stop being a victim 
and giving my power and control away to this ideology and holding myself back in my life. And I want you, if you are still buying into modern day feminism and that you are somehow oppressed, I'd like for you to have the same awakening that I had and see things differently so that you can set yourself free. Why do we have such misandry, the hate and contempt for men in our culture? What we need to understand is that the foundation of hatred is oppression. And continuing to buy into modern day feminism continues to make us believe that we are oppressed, which breeds hatred. What I had to learn and what I had to see for myself is that I can only hate someone if I have hatred within myself. And that's what I learned when I let go of believing in modern day feminism and I began to see things a different way is recognizing that men were not my oppressor. I had become my oppressor by believing and buying into the myth that I am oppressed. I wanted the excuse. I wanted a reason to not rise above my own limitations and go out and make a life for myself and make something of me. So I used the excuse of modern day feminism to believe that men were my enemy, which in doing so made me a victim and I was my oppressor. So ladies, men are not your oppressor. You are your oppressor. By using something like feeling unequal to a man or that men are your enemy to hide in life, to play small, and to not go out and make something of yourself. And that's exactly what I had done. When we can recognize that, that's when we can change and realize that we can go out and be who we want to be and do anything we want to do. 10% of the Fortune 500 companies, their CEOs are women and male-dominated industries like engineering and tech. We have a female vice president. We had a female in 2016 win the popular vote in the presidential election. I have a good friend who's a super on a construction site. I have a client who owns and runs a construction company and owns one of the top interior design firms in Denver. We're not oppressed anymore. And it's believing that we are oppressed that we become our own oppressors to hold ourselves back. And in that, we hate ourselves for all that we're not doing. And we project that hate onto men. And again, as long as we hate men, we can't have a healthy relationship. We can't have a healthy, loving marriage. So what's the solution? My solution was I had to realize that the experience of myself and the life I had created was because of my own choices and decisions that nothing had happened to me. And when I could see that it was my choices and decisions that had created the experience of myself and my life, then I could do something about it. Then I was actually empowered because I could begin making different choices and different decisions to create myself and create the life that I wanted. It means that we have to take responsibility for ourselves. That I am where I am today because of my choices and decisions not what has happened to me. And the reason we want to do this as women is in what happened for me that was just incredible was I began to see my husband in a completely different light. I began to see how thoughtful and kind and generous he was and other good men are. And it took off this veil of seeing men through misandry and the contempt and hate that had built up in me by buying into modern day feminism. And there's nothing in me that feels held back, that feels that there's some invisible glass ceiling or some invisible patriarchy rigging the system. It's all up to me. Ladies, it's all up to you. And this is something you want to realize in yourself and recognize so that you can have a healthy, loving marriage with your husband or have a healthy, loving relationship with a man because it can't happen if we have misandry and we hate men. If you enjoyed this video today, please take a second to hit the thumbs up below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you're notified when I put new content out. If 
you know someone who would enjoy this video or benefit from watching it, please share it. I'm excited to get my message out and to instill hope in women and men that we can have healthy relationships. Men watching, I want you to know there are plenty of women out there like me who want to see these things, who want to grow and evolve as women, who want to have healthy, loving relationships with men. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.